Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to Take Two Radio. We are pleased to bring you interviews with people in the entertainment and music industry, discussions and recaps of the four remaining daytime soaps, that's The Bold and the Beautiful, The Young and the Restless, General Hospital, and Days of Our Lives, as well as various other shows. For upcoming and previous shows, check Take2Radio.com, that's with the number two, and you can find us on Blog Talk Radio, iHeartRadio, iTunes, and other streaming apps. Follow us on social media at Take Two Radio, and thanks for listening. Hey, good evening, everyone, and welcome to Take Two Radio Soaps and Review. I'm Pam, your host, hopefully for the night, <laughs> and <laughs> welcome everybody. We got everybody here except Anthony, but he'll be joining us later. So, David, explain yourself. You're talking to ghost people or what? <laughs> yes, I was. I, apparently, um, I did call in first, and I was on when I said I'm in. That mm-hmm. meant I just entered the. I just entered. The, then when I saw you come on, that sort of like took me out of there. <laughs> oh, so I took you out. Well, that's what you get for mouthing off. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's great to be back with y'all yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh Well, let's hope that this night goes smoother than it started So that when I first called it gave me an error And then it said press one again And I did that and well, here we are So let's get started with the shows because we're going to save the daytime Emmy nominations for the last for when uh, Anthony can join us. So let's go, yeah. Bold and the Beautiful. I saw today's. Um, <laughs> where do I start? <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, yeah. I'm just going to what happened. Um, I missed out today. What, what happened over there on Bold and Beautiful? Well, not very much well, today. Well, I mean, there were some things that happened. I mean, Ridge, you know, went to Carter um, regarding this whole, you know. So for those who, who we're going to catch you up to see, in case y'all haven't like, been watching. So we all know that Quinn and Carter got hot and heavy, okay? It was the, it was the talk about moment of Bone and Beautiful. But, you know, Quinn can't automatically come out and say anything. I mean, she did say something to her best friend, like her BFF, Shauna. But now, Shauna put herself in a predicament by saying that she's the one who slept with Carter. And now everybody's like, say what? So Ridge (laughs) confronted Carter and be like, "Um, you and Shauna? Like, you and Shauna then said, you know, are you and Zoe, like, acting about forgiveness and <sighs> mhm. A lot of all, yeah, all that stuff. So, oh, that jazz. This question: What is Brooke's fascination with her children's sex life? Oh, it's it, <laughs> see, she got this trait. She got the trait inherited to like. I always say this: Brooke and Taylor both got a bit of OG Stephanie in them. Yeah, right. they do. Because that is that's an OG Stephanie thing to do. And the thing is is that, you know, with Brooke, it, it I mean, she she's the look, for those who who are saying, Oh, she's too heavily involved in Hope's love life, need to watch Bold and Beautiful like on CBS or on I'm sorry, on Paramount because she was doing that even with Bridget and mm-hmm. with Rick. So this isn't nothing new. I understand though it is getting a little nauseated. Like, to me, she's right. reminding me a little bit of Stephanie. It's like, okay, you can forget. And not only that, but this is, you got to understand from a mother's point of view, she does not want her child to make the same mistakes that she did. Right. Even though she is making some of the same mistakes that she did. 
I think the yeah, only right. person Brooke has not slept with has been Liam. <laughs> Um, well, Gary, remember, give, it, give, it, well, give it time. Well, <laughs> no, I mean, let's be honest. Do we remember a time where where t- where we thought Liam was a forester? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah he, we thought he, he thought, was Thorn's son. Or Ridge. Mm. Ridge. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They were both yeah. with his mother. Oh yeah, I mama, know Bill. Mama, 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 mama was a little freaky. <laughs> I guess. So, Kate, had, so you had a little rumors about Zoe doing her exit story. Do you have any um, kernels that you can drop for us? Like what we can expect? Is the uh, is the girl gonna die? Like a rumor spread, or is it just she's just gonna leave town? I don't. I, 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 me head, personally, me, me personally, me personally don't know anything. I mean, yeah, Kiara is leaving in the next couple of weeks as Zoe. And Zoe's up. I, do I feel sorry for Zoe? Mm, I feel no. sorry for her outfit. No. I feel sorry I'm for her outfit. I was just going to say, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Candace, yeah. I was just going to say she's leaving because she can't take being dressed like that anymore. <laughs> Look, I'm going to just say this. Let me just say this. I mean, I know that everybody, like, this is the thing that, you know, Bone and Beautiful, and, and we'll talk about it later when we talk about the daytime Emmys. The uh-huh. thing is, Bone and Beautiful has become that soap where you're not really talking about all that's happening on the soap, like, story-wise, but, like, certain things. Like, last year it was the mannequin, right? Then it was right. the six, right. then it was the social, then it was the social distance, and now it's these, you know, Outfit and you, you, you know and hair and and makeup and you know it's just I, I, but back to Zoe, you know Zoe is right now she she's you know wanting the quote unquote perfect relationship with Carter even though she doesn't deserve it because all she wanted was the forced name but that's another right. story for another day. And you have Carter, who is kind of guilty, feeling guilty because he's a good guy who never did anything wrong, and now, you know, right. so now he feels as though this is karma and everything. I don't know how they're going to set it up, but to me, all right, bro, I heard I'm just going to be honest. Car crash. That's what I was asking, Candace. You heard heard of what? I heard there was a car crash coming. I, you know what? I'm going to be I honest. Heard I do, I do feel as though. With the Carrie Zoe, I am wondering if they are going to, and this is just me. I haven't read any spoilers. I, I'm actually trying to not read any spoilers. I'm just hypothetically as a soap fan and, and a soap and somebody who likes to write fan fiction too. Um, yeah. Candace is enjoying the moment. I'm enjoying the moment right now. But it's like I, you can probably guess what's going to happen because Another thing is, and I don't mean this to end it, I don't trust Bold and Beautiful when it comes down to spoilers or or story plots. Because I, I had to think about something. Okay, they still was teasing about a murder, right? And we all, you know, poor Vincent, and I'm giving his government name and not just call him Vinny. I'm going to put some respect on his name. Can we have a moment of silence for Vincent, please? Thank you. <laughs> he was more than just a drug dealer, okay? He was a friend. Okay, we'll talk about he's that a, later. He's also a hunk too, so yeah. Well, he also worked at the hospital. He was doing he was doing so Jesus's work, helping those in need at the hospital. <laughs> Couldn't have put that better. There you go. But I'm always like speculating. I'm like, mm, so you know how we felt about this whole Vinny thing? Could you be setting up something else? And I'm saying, so yeah, for me as a, I feel, I'm like, okay, you're gonna have to usher Zoe out in some kind of way that's not like, okay, oh, I found out that you know Carter cheated on. Well, he didn't really cheat on you either, Zoe, because y'all wasn't even right. together. But okay, You're not even together. But I get right now. I wish that she could be like Merrill's place. Like y'all know that was I wanted for Zoe. I wanted her to be like Kimberly. You know, Kimberly mm-hmm. um, Shaw from Merrill's Place and Blow Up Force of Creation. I didn't get that. Okay, I'm fine with that, I guess. I mean, she could. She still could do it. She, that would have been awesome. Thing. That would have been awesome. Right. But to me, I feel as though they're going to do something to kind of play on Carter's conscience. Yep. 
so I, it, I don't, like I said, I haven't read anything. It's just, you know, like, again, if you're a soul fan, there's only three ways of ushering that girl out. So we'll see what happens. But, yeah, well, also, Cardi, you know. Who do you, yeah. who do you think has the worst outfits, Hope or Zoe? Zoe. <laughs> Me too. Zoe, Jenda, do you remember what case. you said? Do you remember what you said on the last podcast? Candace about about the outfits. Look, here's my thing. Um, <laughs> I understand that this show is about hot fashion. I do. <laughs> That's a hot mess. I'm, gonna, I'm sorry. That's well, not wait a minute. I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be really nice, and I'm, I apologize to those who may hear this. Um, this is nothing to it. This is this is my opinion. You must be high. <laughs> Because I mean, and again, like I said, I watch I watch the show Emily in Paris, and you know that's the, the fashion consultant. And it's nothing against her, you know. I know I know she means well. I, I get it, but those outfits, I'm just like, mm, no, no, like mm-hmm. no, yeah, like the thing. outfit that, it's like the outfit real. that, yeah, like the outfit that Zoe wore. I think it was the other day. It was like the um, I call it the boof. Because it was feathers and stuff, it reminds me of Phyllis Diller a little bit too. But right, um, and for those who don't know who she it is, it was a little yeah. too much. I know. It, was yeah. a little too much. it was a little too much. But that was Gucci, and I was like, okay, that is actually a, a over two thousand dollar dress that she wore. Okay, here's here's my thing. Okay. I, like I said, I'm all for Bold and Beautiful to promote fashion because they are a fashion soap opera. It's about a fashion dynasty, okay? But I feel I, I feel bad for Kiar sometimes because out of all of the people on that show, they just so the worst. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's 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 I have great. never. I've never said anything bad about their fashion before. To me, they always were, you know, on top of that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, even when they were, they had things on mannequins look better than what they're throwing <laughs> on Zoe yeah. and Hope. Yeah. I'm I'm just like, I love the fans' reaction and the fans were saying, let's get back to the fashion sense of Border the Beautiful as maybe, far as the dressing, the, the, you know, maybe the, that's the, what the they were going that. for. Maybe I mean, that's what they want us to see like that. I will say this, and again, we'll talk about this later during the, the daytime Emmy discussion. Bold and Beautiful, like each soap to me is trying to do something to get us to talk, us so fans to talk and to continue to watch. Because again, there was something called a pandemic that kind of, and in their minds, took away our focus on the importance of the show. So yeah, you do have like bold and beautiful mannequins. These these fashion choices. We're we're watching and we're talking. General Hospital. We'll get to that. We'll, we'll, yeah. Well, to me, what? I just thought that yeah. their their fashion budget, their clothing budget was cut. <laughs> They're going to the back oh. of the closet. <laughs> because when you look at like now, Kevin Kelly Lane, like I'm gonna be honest, like Kevin Kelly Lane, you know, look first and foremost, she she always great for good. her for age. She always looks good. There was an outfit. She had a checkerboard skirt on with a white white blouse. It was a ruffle blouse. And I was like, I like that. I really do. There was an outfit that Denise Richards and I wore like a couple of weeks ago. So it's like some of their fashion choices are on point. Like, kudos. But with Zoe and her. Do you think they, do you think they just drop the ball with her and just say, oh, just let it be? If they do, if they did do that, I, me personally, as, and like, Kiara is a great, I don't know if y'all see her Instagram and stuff, but she is a very beautiful young woman. Her, you know, she, you know, she's mm-hmm. a model as well. But to me, I would be like this. Um, so, um, can I get a say in what I wear today? Like, is it, can we compromise? Because I'm not feeling, I can feel this, these pants, but not this top. Um, can I not white, wear these white 70 shoes with this pink and green dress? Because, you know, Labor Day law. And can I, like, do my hair a certain type of style without it looking like this? 
Well, there was one one outfit on that uh, that Hope had on. I swear it was like that Lucy and Ethel episode where they're in Paris and they get the husbands trick them into wearing those. Um, oh. So, what do they Big call deal? those bag? The, no, the bags. <laughs> oh, um, I know what you're talking about. Oh, what are those Not, called? Uh, you know, they it's put one like, of those that you wear on a dare. Oh, there were bags like made out of. Um, I know what you're talking about. The, the sack. Oh, well, you know the, the what? <laughs> like a potato Sutra. sack. The yes, yeah. Sack. Oh, the burlap yeah. type of burlap. <laughs> yes, burlap, and that's what looked like Hope was wearing one day. And I thought about that Lucy episode. I was like, come on. Zoe's got you know some weird freaky clothes, but but Hope they're they're dressing her like. And nothing against the Amish, but, you know, like an Amish person or something. I, I yeah. just don't get it because, you know, eventually we're going to, if they want us to talk about the show, um, you know, okay, so the mannequin and, you know, whatever. And now they got us talking about the clothes. That's taken away from us being interested in the storyline if we even had right. wanted to be interested in the storyline. You know, that can only last so uh, yeah. long. People stop talking about the clothes and start paying attention mm-hmm. to the episodes, and then they're going to be like, mm-hmm. uh, uh, let's go back to the clothes. Uh, yeah. I got a quick question. Any updates on what's going on for Steffi and Finn? Are they headed back for this coming they month? Should ready be June, or they, yes, like, they should be back Yeah, even – I think it's probably going to be – actually, I think it's, it's going to be Monday. Next week. Next week. Yeah, I saw Monday, something yeah. about Monday. Yeah. Um, but do you think that Bill is going to turn himself in and leave uh, Liam out of this? Ooh, mm. that's a that's a mind blowing question. Well, the reason being is because he kept saying, "Give me twenty four hours," right, and telling them to think about it. But if you saw today's episode, he was sitting on his desk. And thinking back to what happened and all that. And it seemed to me like he was struggling. Not yeah. not oh, yeah. more not upset as far as Liam possibly going, but struggling with how he should take care of this. And my thought was maybe he's gonna turn himself in and that's it. Because it was his car and whatever. I mean, <sighs> doesn't Wyatt know I, about Liam yet, or he doesn't know yet? He's still in the dark. Yeah, he's still he doesn't oh, okay. know. He okay. knows so some, he, he knows cooling. something is uh, he knows something is going on, but he's he doesn't quite know just yet what it is. Right. I I mean that's a tough one because I can see Bill kind of just like you know be a man. And we'll, you know, go and do, you know, whatever it is, like if you turn yourself in and we'll get, we'll, we'll make sure that nothing happens to you, you know, like kind of prevent him from it. I can't really see Bill doing it though. Like, like put turning himself in. It's Bill Sons. Well, I mean, that would be a shocker and a great storyline. I could, it'd be a strong, a strong part of Bill to do something like that and I think the reason he would probably do it is because he also would probably think of his other son which is the one with Katie what if what if his other son did something like that what would he do so I'm thinking that's probably what he's thinking in his mind is like how far do I have to go to be this dad to my son well it's not even that it's, it's sort of like okay like again you have to be a man like right. okay if, if Bill turns himself in he's leaving Will he would leave Will. He will be protecting Liam, but what about Wyatt and Will, and what about, you know, his company? Well, especially I thought Scott. about that, too, especially, yeah. like, the company, because that's his number one child as far as I'm concerned. Exactly. But it's still, you know, he's changed through the years where he has, you know, become more of that father figure in that. And maybe he loves them enough, you know, loves all of them, but especially Liam right now at this point where he would be willing to sacrifice himself for his child, knowing that Wyatt is a grown man 
And Will is with Katie, and he'll be taken care of for whatever couple of years that he'd be in jail. I just see oh, you know doing what? That. I, I like this line yeah. that happened this week with Hope, where she actually, and this is kind of humorous, but she said, Liam, no one's going to believe that you were lifted by Bill into a car. I, I mean... I don't know. I, uh, yeah. I just feel so Remember light. Remember when he fainted? Remember when he fainted like a girl? Yeah. yeah, I do. That had trauma. They never took Chuck's brain out ever since all those times he hit his head. Ah, uh, Volt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, uh, like I said, I... I'm, I'm curious as to where this is going to go. Like I, could, like I said, I can also see, like, again... You know, Bill tells Liam to turn himself in, and that before he goes to court or anything else like that, he'll take care of it. He'll take care of it. I can see him doing that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely, I could too. Mm-hmm. So, so you think that once um, Zoe is gone off the show, that Carter will rehook up with Quinn? Hmm. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna just I'm just gonna come out and say it. Um, I'm picking up a teaser between Eric and Quinn. It looks like they might try to do a little flirt flirtation in there. But I don't know. What do y'all okay. think? Do you see anything going on there with Eric and well, Quinn? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, it's um Eric and Shauna. I said Eric and Shauna. It looks like they might be trying to keep a little angle with that as we get into okay, summer. Okay, well, let's, let let's Candace answer this? my question first. We can't pop 12 questions at one time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so with – actually, I can actually tie both of them in real quick. But, okay, so with your question, Pam, do I see Quinn and Carter? The answer is no. And I'm kind of hoping they – when I say no, I don't need a full-fledged relationship. This is the problem that I had about how Bo did Katie and Wyatt. You can have a fun couple. You can have a random hookup. You can you can do that without making it a serious, like, oh, I love you. Will you marry me? Let's be destiny together. Oh, oh, rainbows and lollipops. Woohoo! I don't need there that right now. And, Car- and Carter does not need that. But with Quinn and, and like, Sean and Eric, I'm going to be honest. I'm surprised they did not do this before. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah, you could have had Ridge, you could have had Brooke and, and Shauna. Shauna could have been that that girl that Brooke used to be, okay? And she she could be, you know, like the Walmart version of what Brooke Logan is, okay? I'm just saying. But with Shauna, Eric, and Quinn, that to me was the money storyline. I don't understand why they didn't play it, and if they're going to start playing it now, okay, perfect timing because Shauna – has something on you, Quinn. You was the one who blabbed and said Carter gave you the greatest sex of your life. And so now Shauna can do can be like, you know what? I had a modem. Like, mm-hmm. mm, Rich, Rich Forrester, yeah, he was fine. He was all right. He was all right. But Eric Forrester, mm, okay. And I can see Shauna is like, I can take your man because I got a secret on you. I yeah. can see her doing it. And that, yeah. that yeah. would be like, to me, that would be yeah. like a Bold and Beautiful's warehouse. And like I said, not saying that Quinn is going to be like, because Quinn has to also face facts is that, okay, she changed to be a part of Eric's world. Let's be honest. Quinn dropped uh, some points of her cuckoo crazy so she could be Eric Forrester's wife, loving wife. But, But also, let's think about this. With her and Carter, this is not the first time. Do does anybody remember her flirting with Ridge? Do y'all yeah. remember the Ridge yeah. and, the, and Quinn? So to yeah. me, that's why, like, that's why I'm surprised, like, Ridge is trying to be all, like, you know, um, you, you should ask for forgiveness and all that. Stuff. Really, Ridge, of y'all people, you're talking about this. Sit somewhere. Sit so- worry about the fact that Brooke and Bill was talking to each other. That's what you should worry about. Worry about that, you know, your your um your son in law well, you don't know that your son in law been seeing dead people. But you know, well your <laughs> former son in law was, was talking to dead people. But you know, like worry about that and 
yeah, you need to worry about Eric because Eric's, Eric is going to probably be heartbroken. But I just, with Carter and Quinn, like I said, it could be something where Carter explores his other side. Because he has been hurt a couple of times. I mean, Maya, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, and Zoe, because, you know, stuffy didn't happen yet. All right. Um, but, hey, did um, I get on? Yeah, you're here. Yeah, yeah you're okay. here. So I just, to me, with that storyline, I'm like I said, I'm interested for how they're going to get, how they're going to write Zoe out. If you know, I just want to know if she's going to know the truth before whatever happens. Well, happens. if there's actually a car crash, like Will saw a rumor of, think about it. Zoe finds out about Carter and Quinn, gets in the car, races off, and she's mad and she's crying, and boom, there goes the car crash. Okay, I've seen yeah. an episode of that before. It was on Gone Light when Marie well, Bauer yeah. died after she found out about Ed and Lillian. I don't need to see that on Bold and Beautiful. What I need to see is Zoe, because to me, they, okay, to me, I feel as though, and this is a problem on another soap that I'll talk about later too. I feel as though Zoe came in as a mischievous character. Mm-hmm. To as me, Quinn. do not, right, well, Quinn, well, I mean, Quinn, you know, she had her, she she definitely has her wicked ways, but so does Zoe. And to me, Tom has tamed her a little bit. I mean, the the sex probably was good. I don't, you know. But at the same time, let's not forget Zoe's whole story arc. And it's like, you can't make her a victim. Like, even though it's like calm as yeah. like, uh-huh, you know, da-da-da-da-da. I don't need for her to be like, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> No, I would love to see Zoe go out in a blaze of glory. Yeah, yeah maybe she I, does. You know, honestly, I'd rather yeah. see the other soap cliche where, it, and um, thank you all for being, you know, patient that I was not able to make it in, in, for the opening. But I would like to see, you know, the classic soap. You know, she comes in brandishing a gun. There's a struggle. La 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 la. Boom boom boom. And oh crap. She's dead. <laughs> yeah. You know, rather than mm-hmm. rather yeah. than she's, you know, slinking off crying like the victim and, and accidentally runs herself into a tree. Yeah. No, I, I'd like to see a little cuckoo crazy. You know, I, I think yeah. I, I want to just touch on what Candace, you had just said. First and foremost, Ridge, I, I love the character because at least they've kept him pretty much, you know, solid in who he is. Um, mm-hmm. And he's been a hypocrite from the very beginning. You know, Eric, you know, in, in my world, the LGBTQ world, you know, we have a, a fun phrase that says, oh, you know, he must have the magic wand. Um, you know, and, and I think Eric must have the magic wand because every woman who's been with Eric ends up becoming a different woman with him, through him, you know, and then after him. Um, and I mm-hmm. think, you know, Quinn is, Quinn is no exception. Um she, you know, she fell under the spell. She saw what is, you know, when someone loves you with that kind of, you know, belief in you, passion in you, giving you the second chance, you want to live up to, you want to be. And when the instincts inside you that, that have the, you know, the nasty, the negative, the this, the that, when they rear themselves, it's a dichotomy of, of guilt because you want to be that person, that this amazing man looking at you, looking at you and saying, you're the woman. You're the one I want to be with. And you want to mm-hmm. be that woman for him. For sure. You know, Ridge doesn't surprise me. Now, Carter, I just have to say, you know, whether or not this story goes where I hope it goes, uh, you, you know, he's been, he's been that trophy that sits on the shelf and we take him off and we dust it when company comes or whatever because, you know, we want to show it off. But, you know, then he goes right back onto the shelf not to be seen or heard from, you, you know, for months on end. So at, at least we're getting some good Carter time. Yeah. 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 I, I came in blazing, blazing yeah. glory. <laughs> there you go. And I would like to add, I have something to add to that. Um, I would like to see Zoe go out and somewhat like a mix between what Candace said and what you said, Anthony, that she gets caught up in her own devices and she gets jealousy on Shauna and plots against her because she thinks she's the woman, but in the end, her plot backfires, and 
She dies from it. Yeah. Definitely. Well, let's move on unless somebody has something that they really need to talk about with Bold, so that way we, you know, have enough time at the end to talk about the Emmy noms. Okay. Anything else on Bold you want to talk about? Uh, none that I can... Um, okay, I don't, you guys probably covered this, but I'm just going to say it. Okay, people, you know, both, I think you're doing a really good job storyline right now. But come on, fix Bill. Fix Bill. I need Dollar Bill back. I, I'm not feeling the, this this version of Bill right now. That's all I got to say. And then we can move on. <laughs> <laughs> that actually worked into fix what we talked Bill. about. We we talked about the fact about the whole is he going to turn himself in or or what and you know it's like he's contemplating and the, like I said if he if they do it like I can see again like I said I can see Bill telling Liam your man go ahead and turn yourself in we'll still figure something out so you don't go to jail I can totally say that because that's that Bill yeah. cockiness in him that's his yeah. Bill cockiness in yeah. him um, okay all right. The young and so, the restless. Oh Lord. Lord, Lord. have mercy. Well, <laughs> oh my God, I gotta tell you, the stories right now with the young and the restless they I gotta admit at first they were dragging a little slow, but some of them are starting to pick up, which I'm really find that interesting because I'm liking the connections right now with Moses and Faith. They're adorable. They're cute together. Yeah. Chelsea Okay, Chelsea, we know she's a carn artist, but we've got to give it up to Chelsea for just a little bit here. Chelsea seems like she's going to find a way to seem like she's flirting a little with Ray, kind of mess with his head a little bit. With the, I think it was this week, right? She's already apologized and trying to play the little victim act. Yeah, um, I don't trust her, but I wouldn't put it past her if she tries to find a way either to get out of there or try to seduce Ray to hurt Sharon. Because in her mind, Sharon ruined her life. So there's that. And let's see, what's the All other right. part? Oh, Alina well, and but Wait, wait, wait. Will, 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 let, let's let everybody else voice what you just talked about. Because if you okay. can tell all of them, <laughs> it's kind of hard to catch up. So, yeah, okay. I agree that they're cute together, Moses and Faith. And I'm glad that she has a friendship that's true after what she's just been through. Um. And as far as Chelsea, she's conning, definitely conning. We know that. Um, But we know that she's probably going to be leaving for maternity leave. So uh, what do you guys think? She's going to get out or she's going to escape or what? I think she's she's going to get out. Yeah. No, I think she's going to be on the run. Yeah. Yeah. Half of me is thinking that Adam is going to have a deal for her and she can either take it or leave, leave it. it. And I can see her take it, but not really take, like she'll take yeah. it, but she's going to come back, you know, like something is going to bring her back to, to town as Adam will think, Oh, well, wait a minute. I thought you decided to take this deal and leave. And Chelsea is like, Oh no, Mm-mm. you're not getting rid of me that easy. I yeah, agree. I had the I, face in my sleeve, uh, you know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I'm. I'm. Here's the thing. I um. I'm actually liking how they're writing Chelsea. It is true. She is a con. She's always been a con. You know. That's that's all. That was her thing. But mm-hmm. it's interesting because she blames Sharon for everything, which. That to me is like, oh, okay, Chelsea versus Sharon. Okay, I, I can see. I do think she's conning Ray, but oh, I yeah. think Ray is in. Dare I say this? Is enjoying the attention. Absolutely. Hi, Jordy. But hi, Jordy. But you know, hi. What they're doing <laughs> is they're recycling the Billy Adams storyline on the female side now. Um, yeah. But but you know we've been there, we've done that, and they're hitting. You know, they're not even being innovative with the beats. You know, it, it, it's a little too black and white for, for, you know, for reality. So especially for it being a soap opera, it's just a little too black and white. Um, and and it, doesn't, it doesn't evoke the same um, level of intensity emotion. as Billy and right. the emotion, intensity. 
Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw one more on. I, I, I love Faith and Moses, absolutely. Um, mm-hmm. flirting, flirting with another possible lesbianic um, tryst. I'm gonna say this, and and I hope that my my co-hosts agree. If you gonna go there, you better go there. You you know, don't flirt with us. Bring us to the edge, and then roll us back. You know, this whole bonding, you know, uh, my man is bad, your man is bad, blah, 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 men suck. You know, if you're going to go there, go there. I don't mean that they have to end up happily ever after, but, you know, it took Mariah and Tess way too long. And and and, and it wasn't believable after a while. Um, and so if you're going to do this now, go there. Go hard with it. Right. Right, yeah. Well, you know, there's always some kind of teaser in there. Will they, won't they, you know. And mm-hmm. I think that's just that's just a natural soap thing. So you can't, you know, Tess and, and um, oh, Mariah. That, mine, thank you, my mind just went blank. Um, you know, been happy for a long time now. So you you have to throw that drama back in there. You need that What's ink. Been, you need that ink. Yeah, you definitely need need that. I just do want to say about Faith and Moses. Um, I think it was interesting there. I I might be spoiled. There was a line where, you know, Faith was like um, saying how her parents get along with Moses. And I love the fact they bring up how, like, Sharon and Nick and, you know, the Newmans and the Winters were cool. I mean, for some younger Russell's viewers, they probably don't know that once upon a time, Victoria and Neil was engaged. Mm-hmm. And that, you know, again, and probably tomorrow with the um, the, 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 the episode, they're going to talk about, like, how connected. And I kind of like it, yeah, because Faith, Faith doesn't really have, well, her so-called friends who weren't friends. You know what, Jordan? Mm-hmm. Um, she doesn't have anybody, and I'm glad the Younger the Rustlers is bringing a younger set on the show because the show is called The Young and the Rustlers. So I right. like the fact that they have a Winters have being represented. Mm. Right? They have the Winters represented with Moses. And then, you know, with that, you're seeing Devon and li- kind of stepping into a, what I like to hope and pray for, the Neil and even a Drew like. Like kind of just protecting Moses. I like yeah. what Faith is that you know little girl is grown up now, so it's like you're seeing Nick as this like should I be like concerned about this friendship? Like mm, like mm, like I know how young men think, and it's like you know he he's trying to protect both his daughters. I just I just like I like Faith and I like Moses. Yeah. And I do yeah. want to see where that. it goes, whether, whether it's romantic or friendship. Right. I just like that we have did the next catch, generation. Did you, catch Sharon, did you catch what Sharon said today, which I thought was really sweet? She told Nick that Neil would have loved that Faith yeah. and Moses are friends. Yeah. 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 Yes. He would. Absolutely. He really would have. I didn't see today's, Absolutely. but, yeah, that's nice. Okay. okay. I got just a few little quick teasers, nothing too long, but here we go. Okay, Amanda Sinclair's sister, I think her name is Amaya. She, she's actually going to be Sudden, uh, Sudden James Spy. Okay, then Nick, and Nick catches Phyllis in a lie, and this will lead him to have sex with Sally Spectra. And pay close attention to Tara because she's got a secret. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. We know what her secret right, Chloe is. Bye. Mm-hmm. 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 All right, mm-hmm. and well, how do you feel about um, Victoria possibly hooking up with Daddy Boy? Um, I like the difference of the, the the chemistry between her and Locke is interesting. The only thing I feel bad for Victoria is she's being put in a situation like she was with JT, where JT was being abusive with her. I just don't want to see her go through that again. Okay. Okay, let me just say this. This is what this. Okay, come on, young of us, let's do me right here. This is okay. Okay, I, I think you're gonna say what I think you're gonna say. Go ahead. Okay, go. my thing is Victoria wants to hang just like Victor said. You want to hang with the big boys and play in the big boy game. Go for it. My thing is with the show, and I've noticed they've been doing this with Richard, who plays Ashlyn. They've been chem testing him all around. 
which I appreciate. Thank you, Younger mm-hmm. Russells, for doing that. With mm-hmm. Victoria, if they go ahead with Ashley and Victoria, that is disastrous, but it's soapy goodness. I don't need, I want right. him to play her, but I want her to play him. And right. to me, you said about the JT thing, this is not going to be like a breeze because now Victoria is concerned with power. Right. She now wants, yes. she, after what she's been through, her, her, she doesn't have a cold heart. But now is she's a ice she's really now a ice princess because all of her emotions and everything, you gotta think about it. Everything she's been with Billy. She tried to play the the children card with Billy to get to Billy you know, to kinda of insert into Billy and Lily's relationship. She does not want to be where she was at a couple of years ago. She doesn't want to be alone. She didn't say what kind of alone she didn't want to be. Whatever it's personal. She wants to be the she one that be. everybody would be like, she no, she wants Victor to say, well, I'll be damned. Mm-hmm. You got okay. me. Okay, let me, she, yeah, she let wants me to have, right She wants to wear the crown. Right. Yes. Victoria has always pulled back. She's always wanted mm-hmm. to wear the crown, and then she right. pulled back, I'm, I'm too good for this. What I'm hoping is, is that he smacks her down hard. Not physically. I, I don't want to see a repeat of the JT. But I'm hoping that he smacks her down hard, gives her a lesson that at, that unleashes the victor in Victoria. And that, yep. you know, after all these years of flirting with, is she finally going to, you know, to use a Star Wars reference, is she finally going to go to the dark side? I mm-hmm. want to see her step into into her full victor Victoria, you know, high heels. Hey, no, that, was a, that was a movie, <laughs> that was a movie, Anthony. That was a movie, Anthony. I know girls well, have the so many not borrowed from movies. Come on now. But, no, seriously, all kidding aside, I think he should smack her down hard, and as she comes back, she comes back with the vengeance that only Victor Newman's daughter could come back with. Exactly. Yeah. Anthony, don't You're forget right. that Topol so Majai just did tease that Victoria's supposed to be the new Adam Newman. Okay, I have a problem with that. And let me I just have say a big this. problem with that. My thing is is that before Adam Newman was even thought of, there was Victoria Newman. Right. Victoria New- exactly. Adam Adam Newman is Adam Newman is Victoria Newman. There you go. I'm going to put it just like that. Because my thing is Victoria has not- Okay. Victoria from Jump, Heather Tom's version on up, has tried to battle the boardroom. She's yes. tried to be more than just Victor Newman's daughter. Right. She's always tried to be more than just a female in the boardroom. The belt, I'm sorry, the belt of the boardroom. That's where she got the nickname from. She's always wanted to outshine everybody, including the Abbott. Okay? To me, mm-hmm. yeah, jealousy does not work well with Victoria. But guess what? That fuels her. That makes her go hard, harder than anybody else. This is a young woman who came from the mailroom on up. So it's right. uh-huh. she, she has earned her earned way. Respect. She yep. earned her way instead of Mr. Law School um, Adam coming, wah, 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 every time something's going wrong. Wah, wah, wah. I don't, but then, then this is the same Adam Newman who will say, well, I don't want to be a Newman. I can walk away and do that. Okay, well, bye. Yeah. Peace, yeah. Peace. Yeah. But then when you want something, it's, wah, 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 wah. What my daddy? You, you know, know what I would like? But you know what I would like? Because you agree to the writers right now. She should have to be Adam. You know what I would like to Here's the key to the writers. It's time to let Victoria. It's time to let Victoria have her victim, and let it. But yeah, in it all, stop making her so damn apologetic for being a woman. Stop making her so damn apologetic for being the daughter that you know that she's not the son, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Let her finally have the moment where she says, "Let her be like what's call it. Let her be Iris from another world." Thank you know you. what I yes. you know what I'd like to see I'd like to see Victoria uh of course keep Newman but also take Sorexis or Sorex whatever the name of that company is and oh, and, all, and also Chancecom <laughs> well, I want okay. to see, I want to 
can get them all. Because then, because then they get them all. Go against all of them. And if they're going to recycle stories, once they once they kind of you know use up the uh, the Victoria Ashland thing, let him you know let him see Tracy in the same light that back in the day Brad saw Tracy in. Like, you know, if you're going to recycle a story, yeah. recycle this one. You, you know, they would be their, – their chemistry would be off the chart. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Look, I never Ashley. thought of those two I together, but, but yeah. Ashley and okay. Tracy? Yes, you've David. all been invested with the Amanda story, um, what do you all think about the, um, the fact of Amanda's father being killed? Do you think like me, do you think that maybe it's Amanda's mom who killed him? Okay, so go ahead, I'm just going to say this. No. I'm just going to I'm just going to say go that ahead. I feel as though with this storyline, okay, I was invested in the storyline. I was because I was like, oh, this is a mixture of. For some strange reason, I really wish they would have connected this to Philip Morris' character from Young and the Restless. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think that's one of my issues because his character was a little shady too, and they could have tied it in. If it's the mom, like I said, the Sutton and the mom gave me chills, especially when she said to um, Amanda, "Welcome to the family. I am so happy to have you here." That's right. like right there. No, girl, no, you don't do that. You don't do that. Don't go to the family. I do think there's something shady. I do suspect yep. there is going to be a twist to the story. Where it is probably the mom. Yep. Um. I just to me it's like it's kind of losing some steam because I really kind of wish they did not. And there's nothing else they can yeah. do with her mom. Right. And it's gonna have I to really be her. and I actually do wish they never tied it to Newman. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I wish they yeah. would have did it. I'm gonna be Everything honest. I wish they would have said it was Newman, to... so it would be right. nice for and a that's, change. And that's my thing is that it is no offense, but. I wish it would have been like something at Jabot. Right. Like, I wish they would have connected this to what Gloria had, had that box. Yeah, I, right, I thought right. they were headed there. Right. So, you know. I mean, well, there's forget, like, Tim like Victor did drop a bombshell and said that um, Amanda's dad was looking for his daughter that was given away. So that's a little hint that says uh, that her mom is lying but, to say but that her to dad me, didn't know But to baby. me, but to me, I'm not even invested in that. Like, to me, okay. No. When yeah, you do a storyline like this, like, it's supposed to be more of a jackpot. Because here's the thing. Us viewers who've been watching the Hillary storyline, okay, to right. this point, it has to tie all together. And I'm going to call him out. I'm sorry. But, J.G., you know who I'm talking about. You wrote this story. So I'm confused as to what the execution is. I get it. You did not recon Hillary's history. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. But other but other than this, like the Amanda stuff, the father, the mother stuff like that, I'm just feeling as though it's a lot of filter. And let me just correct myself. JG and company. Because I don't want everybody to sweat, but at the same time, I'm just going to say JG. Um, anyway, but... I just feel as though, like, with Amanda's storyline, it's like, okay, you tied Newman into this. Why? Why couldn't yeah. it be at Jabot? Why couldn't it have been at, you know, something else? Okay, Sutton right. is a politician. Look, right there, that's the story. He's a politician. Of course there's some shady stuff going on. Okay, yeah. then you got this mom. Like, to me, oh. it's like you're, you're, okay. you're, you're pretty much putting the icing on the cake before the cake is even done. Because we already Let, were like, call, okay, we're done. Let's call a spade a spade here. You know, they did everything they possibly could, including Michelle herself, to make sure that Amanda was not Hillary. We had the hair, exactly. we had the wardrobe. You know, now, what is it, a year and a half later, you're beating, you're beating the dead. Amanda is not Hillary. We know this now. We, we exactly. know this. So you're beating the dead horse. You killed the story that could – there could have been so many good twists and turns with this that they dropped – how many – Kansas, how many shows have we said? They dropped the ball here. They dropped the ball there. They dropped the ball here. Oh, they yeah. dropped the ball there. 
so at this point, you know, we're really just not invested. We know it's going to be the mother because they didn't they didn't bring her onto the canvas in a way that would give her anything else to do once this storyline wraps up. So, you know, the story's already told in most of our minds. Now, I would love, J.G., hear this. Throw us the only kind of red herring and then and then shock the heck out of us. You know, something, mm-hmm. let's go crazy. Maybe it's Kane. <laughs> you know, y'all don't want to bring y'all y'all don't want to bring him back. So here's a good way to to kill to basically you know sign the death certificate of the character, make a cane behind you know off camera. But either way, I, I don't think that this yeah. storyline can be recovered enough to where it becomes edge of seat watching. It is just filler. I mean, right. now, I will okay. say this. It, again, it gives, it's like the Amanda story, you see, Michelle's been on that show now going on, what, two, three years. And they waited until last year to start giving her this story. And at first, I was excited because I was like, finally, y'all giving Michelle some stuff. But like like we're saying now, it's like, okay, you put too much into it already. You already have the system. By the way, can we please keep her? Yes. Can we God, please yes. keep the sister? Because yeah. I like Hope her. Hope the sister My, up with Sally Spectra. Have them come, you know, have them be seen yes. with something together. Yes. Right. Go ahead, girl. You have, you have, I mean, the grandfather, like I said, you know, to me, he's like a black Victor Newman because he's like pulling the screens. He's like, he knows. He knows, like, Amanda is very vulnerable at this moment, and she wants that family. She wants that family. But then you got mom. Welcome to the family. I'm so happy you're here. Oh. Oh, like, yeah. I'm like, like right there, uh-huh, you're pulling, I was going to say Victoria, darn it, um, Amanda's heart strength, because that's what Amanda wants. But, yeah, I mean, the choice is probably going to be, well, that the grandfather did it, I don't know, pay somebody, a hitman, and the hitman turns out to be somebody that's already on canvas, and or, you know, a character to come back and be like, ah, surprise, I'm back. Or it could be... Uh, well, we're going to have so, to do some quicker re- recaps here because we're down to an hour, and we need time for the, the noms, so... All right. So let's uh, okay. add the days because we can blow through that yeah. real quick. Yeah. Go through Ooh, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Um, so, okay. um, congratulations, Dave, on getting your pickup for two more years and season yay. 57 and 58. Congratulations, yay. congratulations. But, Ron, my friend, mm. um, you're doing it again. You, you know, you're back into one life to live territory. Unfortunately, this is not the same soap. So, it, it doesn't... It, it, Oh man, uh, I love the uh, okay. I love it so much, and it has such good, mo- you, you know, months and months and months of pop, 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 and, and then it starts to like unravel, and it's like when you when you're knitting that blanket, and you make the wrong stitch, and you, you know, all of a sudden the whole thing starts to fall apart. Yeah, go ahead, Candace. I was gonna <laughs> say, um, I've, I'm okay, and this will go into the next conversation we have about the Emmys. There is a lot of good with Days of Our Lives. Okay, let me just press, because everybody says I go after, like, Ron with this. There's a lot of good things on Days of Our Lives currently that I'm enjoying. But there is some things that I'm just like, question mark, question mark, I lie, Jake, Gabby, Kate. Whoa. Oh, God. (laughs) Yep. Yeah. Okay. Here's the deal. Didn't we do this first off? But go ahead. No, we we no because I feel as though like this is first and foremost okay. I'm gonna give praise to Lauren, Brandon, and Camilla because y'all are making this storyline a little bit worthy of watching. I'm just saying. I'm being honest here. It is. Jake, yeah. first and foremost, to the fans, Jake is not Stefan. He's Jake. Right. From State Farm, the guy who <laughs> did not want to wear suits. Who didn't want to wear suits? Who talked with khakis. an accent? He's wearing khakis. Khakis. Yeah. Who like who like working at the you know stuff like that? Who you know was with Gwen? I don't know who this is. Gabby. Okay, Dave. You had Gabby move on to Philip. There was possibilities yeah. right there, and I'm not just saying that. But to me, it's like okay, she got over the fact 
that her hus that her husband, the one who taught her about love, died. That yes, everywhere else in Salem, there's a doppelganger, there's a lookalike. So yeah, yep. she was gonna have feelings and stuff like that. I don't know where all this came from. This whole I love you, you love me, let's be together and just be like doing it in front of Kate. I know. I know. Kate. It went it's too quick and he flipped he flipped the switch too quickly. I'm like, okay, I'm like, it's a week later and all of a sudden you got this romantic feeling it's always been you. I love you. Oh, carry the flowers, the ro the rose petals falling from the sky. Poor Kate though, but this is what we said. If something happens to Kate, Jake and like I guess, but of course it's Kate's warehouse. So for those who don't know, Kate's plotting. She saw, <laughs> she they think they're kissing right in front of her because guess what? She's guess what? She can't see y'all. Oh, she well, I, I want I want to know what they're gonna do because uh, Camilla is uh, pregnant in real life, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna so be quickly went... <laughs> written. I'm pretty sure. Okay, but I wonder if you know what? I wonder if she'll be wearing. Do you think she'll be wearing a coat for about six months? <laughs> she's going to do like a, she's going to do a Marcy Miller. She's going to do a Marcy Miller. <laughs> I don't yeah, know how they're yeah. going to cover. I don't know how they're going to cover it up. I don't. <laughs> okay, as much as you know, I'm enjoying this, but you know they keep doing this to Kate. And and okay, what I gotta say is, I am loving, 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 loving Rafe and Ava. I am loving them. Oh. I am loving them. Oh, yeah. my God. They I'm have possibilities. Them. No, I no, like no, 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 yeah. no, no. They got higher. They, and, <laughs> and, and, and Nicole is the gasoline. Oh, they, they, it, it's fire. It, it, it's fire. I'm loving it. I'm oh, loving my it. God. Mm-hmm. I love They're Nicole with clean. Vander. What, how They're do you so feel? cute. Funny. No. <laughs> Okay, so, okay. you know, Ava General Hospital, you know, uh, Sheila, I'm always going to love, you know, the off the wall that, that finds the reason to find her own humanity. That I, type I'm of person. Love that story line. Who, yeah. likes Gwen? Who likes Gwen? Do you like Gwen, too? I like to oh, hate God, no. Gwen. <laughs> no, I like to hate Gwen, yes. I, but honestly, I don't want to see her go yet. I, I do think... No. I do think that, you know, to pull a bold in the, a bold in the beautiful, let her go back to cuckoo crazy. Let somebody do something to her that lets her go back to cuckoo crazy. Uh, mm-hmm. If she turns out to be Kristen, uh, then she can go. You, you, none on the run. Put on a nun's habit, and we'll see you in three or four years. You can go. But if they bring her cuckoo crazy back out, then I'm good. I'm good. I'm not saying anything, so thanks, Ron. Thanks, Days of Our Lives for proving me right since last November. Because I knew mm. that they're going to still try to continue to make Gwen into a... This is a, this actually is an issue. You have these villains, right? These, these cold, you know, and then you right. try to make them soft. Calculating bitches, yes. Yeah, <laughs> right, but then you go ahead and you try to make us viewers feel sorry for these characters. Like, Oh, because you got daddy issues. That's why you was yeah. trying to kill Abby. Aww. Oh, now no, you have a doctor. No. Now you have a doctor who's blackmailing you because he wants some drugs. Oh. And then on top of that, Jack Devereaux. Okay, let me just say this. Anybody who's been following me lately knows that I've been saying this. Elevator yep. shaft time. Elevator shaft. It is time, <laughs> yeah. it is time for yeah. somebody to yeah. Yeah. kick. Kick Jack Devereaux down a flight of, like, do something, because, again, this is another thing I said on, on the podcast. I said that if they're going to try to go ahead and make Gwen sympathetic, they're going to do Jack. He's going to be like, oh, well, I didn't know her, so I feel as though I owe it to her to be father of the year. But at the same time, you're father to another young woman who decided to leave town because she doesn't like who she's becoming. And I applauded Abby for that. But, but when... So does any uh, We'll move on from Gwen What about uh, the new uh, um, EJ Anybody know anything about him What's what's going to happen Is he that going to be a spark He cares <laughs> He's cute. Okay. He cares um, You know he's supposed to be airing Sometime uh, next month I believe Yeah. Um, okay. Um, okay. I, you know what I want to see I want to see what they do with him 
I would because here's 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 how good all right, Days, I'm putting you on the spot. Because you got four women on that show that he could easily like right. with. Okay. <laughs> Nicole. 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 You got you, know you, you do have I, I mean you got Nicole, right? Of course you did, right? Sammy. You got Sammy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You got Ava. Oh. But wait, there's a fourth person. There's a fourth yeah. person. Yeah, yeah Gwen. Did, did, wait, nope. she gets her eyes on him. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. No. Abby. Okay. Oh, Abby. Abby. Yeah. But you know they're going to go with Nicole. You well, know, I know, probably. but I'm just saying. Because to me, yeah. it's like, all right, you have him in this situation. Because here's the thing. Okay. Days fans, let's have a moment of kumbaya, okay? We all know mm. that certain, you know, fan bases in this particular situation, if EJ comes in, it's going to blow up a lot of things. Nicole and Eric. At this point, Days, I'm mad at you for how you wrote Eric. Because God, just like yes. in General Hospital, just like with General Hospital, you took a character that was never, like, who, who was complex who had a lot of, you know, different layers and stuff, but yeah. she really turned him into a, what the mess. For Eric to well, not be yeah, let's home. Let's just call him Lucky Part 2. Lucky 2.0. Th- and thank you. And that's who yeah. I was mentioning. That's who I was talking yeah. about. Is that yep. you have Eric. Eric and Nicole waited 20 years to get married. And then you have Eric, you know, and I understand Greg left and everything. By the way, Greg, hi. Um, but you have him still over at Africa and stuff. Unless you want to say he cheated or something like that, I'm just really disappointed of how you wrote Eric and the fact that Nicole cheated and then told Ava of all people. Really? <laughs> okay. Mm. And I'm just like this. I said, when did, I'm, I'm like, when did Nicole and Ava become like Laverne and Shirley, Kumbaya, Golden Girl? <laughs> like, I don't get it. Like, they should be like, round, round, round. Like, that's what I want. But, but like I said, with EJ coming, you do have the cold. So unless you're going to oh, get them a divorce, okay, of course EJ and the cold. Of course EJ and Sammy, especially now with Lucas in the mix. Right. Okay. Yeah. I want to see how yes, that goes. But, okay, so he, here's the twist. Mm-hmm. EJ only only recovers a portion of his memory. So when he gets back to town, he's still in love with Nicole. That will give the Sammy Lucas even more license. It will wrap up the whole Nicole, Rafe, weird Ava thing going on. And it will give reason for them to move the storyline ahead with Eric. Either recast him or, or, or divorce them. This is retarded at this point. Yes. I'm sorry, but what if they do? Eric's dying. Eric's dying. Eric's dying. They're killing him off. I'm no, sure about it. No. Yeah. Are you serious? Yep. Yeah. On screen <laughs> or off screen? Uh, on. On, on screen. Okay. But that's uh, that's just a rumor I heard. That's just a rumor I heard. So you we'll know see. what? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm, thinking, I'm putting the two too. and two together. I'm putting two and two together based off the of casting. No, okay. days. Don't do it. Don't do it to no. yourself. No, please don't no. do it. Don't no, do it. That's right. Okay, we'll talk okay. that way. Because that's Let's put away. Let's go on the GH now. I gotta. All right. We gotta go yeah, on the GH. I'm not gonna. I'm not great. gonna ruin it. Well, here's the thing. Real quick, I know there's some people who did not watch GH today, and and I and I out of respect do not want Wait to talk about what happened today. I'm here. I'm here. Um, I did not watch GH today either. Okay. So I'm not going to, I don't think we should discuss what happened today. For those who watch GH, don't say anything. Keep your mouth shut. Quiet, okay? (laughs) Because we want people to watch. But let's talk about the big story that, Pam, get off the phone for a minute. That has been like (laughs) months, years in the making. And it's, and look, 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 look. Memorial Day is Monday, okay? Leave my Peter alone. No, I'm not going to say leave my Peter alone. He deserved it. Yes. Wait a you hear me? So you you hear me? Yeah. I said he I deserves you. it. <laughs> he, de- he deserves it. Okay. Well, he definitely does. 
just re- re- uh, just to let every you guys know, on Monday, Day Through Our Lives at General Hospital will not be seen. General Hospital is going to have an encore presentation from November, and of course, the CBS soaps are all new. But with that being said, on General Hospital, they have finally probably heard me cry, scream, everything because <laughs> he had it coming. <laughs> He had it coming. <laughs> we don't have to race the next one, do we? But somebody, so, somebody did it. Somebody song. did it, but we don't song. know who. Chicago, he had it coming. Yup, he had it coming. Yeah, he had it. I'm doing the kicks and everything. But what, the way the General Hospital is doing it, I don't know if everybody's seen the show 24. It was on Fox with Keith Sutherland. Yeah, I've seen it. Like yeah. yeah, they're kind of doing like five hours later. Four, like six hours prior. So somebody pushed Peter down a flight of stuff, and I love it. it wasn't oh my God, the you better be up on GH for that. I remember everybody talking about that one. Well, well, I mean, the thing is, you said, like, okay, let's take a, let's, let's kind of go back to tell you why he probably didn't deserve it. Okay, being the obvious. But now he hired this crazy freaking nurse, Claire, who is Chloe. played by Kimberly J. Brown. Chloe, thank you. Oh. Um, who's played by Kimberly J. Brown. For some of us who know her from Gone Light as Mar, that's little Mar, y'all. Yeah, it's just little right. girl. And from some of y'all know her from Halloween Town. Okay, it's Disney. Okay, so that's why everybody's saying, oh my gosh, it's Halloween Town meets Xena and the 21st Century Girl because Christmas Storm. Okay, anyway, so she's, she's a little good with Coco Cocoa Puffs. Yeah, she's a little cool, cool for Cocoa Puffs. And Peter, of course, you know, mm, hires her, right? So to catch y'all to see, she drugs Maxie. She's planning to take her and everybody and they're getting away from poor Charles. Okay. All right. So she's going to be inducing late because we also found out some of us was wrong. We thought Maxie was like in her final stage, like nine months. No. We found out she's actually seven months. Hmm. Right. What? So yeah. like, what? Uh, wait, what? Wait. How is she seven months and they want to induce her at the hospital? Exactly. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That made no sense whatsoever. A doctor will not nope. do that unless that baby or the mother is in trouble. Serious distress. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, Maybe because of the last person for that. Well, well okay, you know so what they made about- up diseases they have made up. You know they could have given us some sort of weird, you know, credible version. Yeah, it's got No, no. Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Mhm. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I called that GH. I don't know if y'all meant to say that or you know it was a blip, but yeah, I picked that. Anyway, so Peter is trying to make sure that the baby, him, and Maxie are gone. He's got to But of course, Peter runs into people. Now he already has a list of people that wants to get him. Cyrus, yep. me, Valentine, me. Uh, did I mention me? Uh, yeah. Half a half a Lee. half a soap Twitter. Half a poor Charles. Yeah, half a soap Twitter. Lee, half a Facebook and stuff. But somebody has pushed him down the flight of stairs, and it better not be said that he has a tumor or amnesia. Yeah. No. Really, everybody on no. Twitter. He's he's gonna have a Jason Morgan personality shift. Oh, jeez. Yep. Okay. Real, well, we're you, you we're down to we're quiet. down to fifty minutes. Leave Peter alone for now. We'll, we'll next okay. show. Next show I will be. I want to thank the writers for bringing Jason and Britt together. Jabrit, Team Jabrit. Oh. Okay. Let's talk okay. about the cup. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Yes. And we got to talk about the other couple too. Go ahead, Candace. You go first, and then I'll. Okay. Back. Well, General Hospital, I'm gonna applaud you for something too. Y'all are like saying, screw everybody's belief about what needs to be on this show because we got some couples in the making. We got some parents we never saw coming. Who would have thought, first and foremost, Jason and Britt? I'm just going to say this. I never thought that. Did y'all ever think that? I was not. Jason and Britt, no. Nope. No. I mean, it's for the first time in 15 years, he finally got some with somebody new. <laughs> I'm the only one clapping. Thank you, Anthony. No. I thought you were gonna be right there with me. No, no I there. actually, I actually like Girl, them I together. Clapping. I like them together. No, I'm, 
I mean, I liked them together, but I just didn't think uh, yeah, they were going to. Yeah, I know. To, I know. You, I, didn't think, you, I didn't think they were going to go there just like another show. Like, back to um, real quick, and this is nothing against the fan base, but with Ben and Claire. I didn't see that. I did not see that coming either. But okay. I, with, with Jason but I'm Griff, glad it's. Right, yeah. right. Sam, you got Sam and Dante. You're like, they're mixing it, they're mixing it up over there, which I appreciate. But at the same time, you do have these other story, the other story of Nina and Mike. Uh-uh. What? I don't the hell. Get what that, get a, get the that off my hell. screen. Get that off my screen. I am we, so we, done with we, that. We went, you know, this is why I say, like, with General Hospital right now, it's, it's going to be a really interesting, especially, like I said, we're not going to talk about today episode because we want everybody to see it but general hospital is now in this situation where you you've had a really good strong run you really had a good strong run but now you notice i said had because now there's some things that that's happening on your show that's starting to make me question a little bit this is now that's one of the stories is nina and mike it started out strong but now i see what this where it's going but I do want to give a shout out to GH Writers again because y'all been dropping some good hints. Of wh- wh- well, you actually said where they were at. Corn of PA showing up. To- yeah. I was like, loving. I was like, Nixon Falls. Did you wait, 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 wait? Nixon did you, Falls was did the you back. See where did you see where on her computer or on the computer when she was broke into the office and was getting um, Elijah's information and whatever on the screen yeah. it said lantano valley 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 yeah. yes mm-hmm. yeah okay so he, that was two, he, two he, shout go. outs here mm-hmm. you go everybody we are setting up the michael um michael quartermain Corentos versus sunny storyline all over again because yep. it's suddenly gonna, it's suddenly gonna be. He is torn between these two women who, you know, had a grudging respect for each other, but then had the outs because of the whole thing that went on with Nell's baby and Nell right. herself. And now, where is his loyalty gonna lie? Where is Michael's loyalty gonna lie? It, you're setting up the Sunny Michael storyline all over again. I, I personally can't wait to see Carly and Nina have it out. Person, oh, director. I'm waiting. I am so waiting for that. Oh, it's and, it, and then it's gonna it's be. Worse. It's gonna be. They're gonna set up. Can he get his business back? Because now, uh, Carly is gonna have the jungle. And, the, and, the, the, and I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna just say this. I do not need when when it's revealed that Sunny is back. I do not need Carly to give it up, give up that power. Because what I need oh, for no, this, I need to. Especially if no. he comes back being confused with how he feels about Nina? No, no, no. She oh, no, 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 up. no, because this is what I really want to have. I'm sorry. I need for Carly to kind of fall from grace because to me she is consumed, again, with power. The fact is I want Carly versus Sonny. I'm sorry. I do because I feel as though, Sonny, you taught Carly. So it's now the yep. student has become the, the teacher. So let's see how, she's, how she can educate and teach the class. But to me, she also is running on emotions, okay? And the thing is, when you sometimes run on emotions and you're in control like that, you're bound to make a mistake. And that is where Sasha plays into, into this. Yes. We found out Sasha is pregnant, okay? No, now, honey. No. Well, yes, yes, in a way, but also do not sleep on Ava. There's something right. Oh, yeah, don't sleep on Ava. What? But what I'm, but, but this is what I'm gonna say about Carly because I'm about to tie Mike into this. Everybody assumes that Brando may be the father of that baby, correct? Because mm-hmm. you know, yeah, you know. But let's nope. not forget that little detail that was said that her and Michael slept together. A few right, times. right, right. What right. I just said about Carly. Carly's running yeah. on emotions right now. She is also interested in, in Sasha's date. She's like, um, oh, okay, I'm going to make you. Keep in mind, she also blames Sasha for a lot of things, too. I can totally see where Carly makes a call to take somebody out, Cyrus, okay? It kind of backfires, and it gets Sasha. And, 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 and somehow Sasha falls or she loses that baby. 
we find out that baby is really Michael. That, this is going that to would be a surprise. Hard. I thought Brandon was sterile. I don't know. Look, anybody who's sterile is not sterile. Don't show or right. in real life. Exactly. <laughs> No, no, but, but remember the refresher. Okay, okay, we're down to we're, we're down to yeah, forty five minutes. So we're down to forty five right. minutes. So yeah, so let's get to uh <laughs> the much talked about event this week. <laughs> Especially if you follow me on social media. You know, this is my Christmas. <laughs> Joy to the world. Um, it was announced for the forty eighth annual daytime Emmy Awards. Uh, the nominations, actually, one category was leaked on entertainment uh, tonight on Monday, but the full list was read on Tuesday. And boy, oh, boy, was there some surprises. Yep. Just a, All right, just we're going to work on it. Go ahead. Like, take them uh, category by category. I was going I was gonna okay. say, let's start with lead actor. All right. So we mm-hmm. have Maurice Bernard, we have Torsten K. we have Dominic Zembroga, Brogna. Uh, Steve Burton and Wally Kurth. Okay. So are you guys, so, guys going to pick? Are you guys going to pick who you think is going to win? Dominic. Yes. Okay. So uh, I'm going I'm to give I'll, you who I'll, I I'll think should it. win and okay. who who I think should win and who I think will win. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we'll, I'll, All I'll right. Keep, let's go I'll one by track. one. I'll keep. Okay. All right. So All Anthony, right. go ahead. So I absolutely think that Wally Kerr should win. I think okay. it's a toss up between Maurice and Dominic for who will win. Okay. All right, and mine is going to be the same as Anthony's. Okay. All right, next up, David. Well, I think Maurice and Steve and Wally may cancel each other out. And it's going to be between... Oh, wait. Wally is nominated for General Hospital, not for Days of Oh, Lies. yeah. Wally. No, he's for Days of Lies. He's for Days of Lies. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. So, then I yeah, so what Maurice I yeah, and then I Steve. Then I what I said. Maurice and Steve will can- and Dominic will cancel each other out. And I think it's going to be head-to-head. I think Thorsten or Wally might take it. Okay. Candace. I think Thorsten is going to win. Who I think will take, um, who I want to take it. I'm sorry. Who I wanted to take it is Thorsten K. Who will probably get it is Wally Kurtz. Okay. okay. Well. So you're all uh, you're all pretty me. well. Yeah, you're all pretty well um, <laughs> in agreement. Okay. Mm-hmm. Will it, well, Willie's Next. got to go. Willie's got to go. Is he still on? Big Will. Oh, oh yeah, I, I did. I said I said Tim is Anthony. Oh, okay. You said okay. what? All right. Same, Same as Anthony. Anthony. Same as Anthony. Same. Same. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, and now I'm going by what I got posted on Facebook. So the next one will be Outstanding Guest Performer. We have Kim Delaney for General Hospital. And we have, let me put my glasses on because I can't see a gosh darn thing. We have Brianna <laughs> Lane. For General Hospital, we have Victoria Platt for Days of Our Lives. We have George Del Hoyo for uh, Days of Our Lives. And we have Katie McLean for Days of Our Lives. Anthony. I, who should win and who will win is hands down Miss Katie McLean. All right. I agree with that. Okay. And, but I kind of, I'm going a little bit towards Kim Delaney too. Um, I, I do think, I don't think she should be in that category. She should be in supporting. But that's just well, me. yeah, but, yeah, um, yeah. No, I agree. I yeah. agree. Okay. Okay, and then David. Um, I think Katie's got this hands down. Okay, and that's who you want to win too. Yeah, I think so. It would okay. be nice if him get it, but. Well, oh, you know what? Um, Wait, let's stop right there first. Carolyn, I think I know what your choice is for the last one for lead actor, but I just want to make sure you're voting. You're you're voting for Wally, right? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm, keep, I'm keeping track. I'm keeping track. If I disagree, then I'll come in and disagree. But so far, no. Uh, you're on okay. track. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Candace. 
Okay, I think Lindsay Hartley should have been on this num- on this list um, since the recast mm-hmm. apparently. Yeah. Um, since, yeah. The, since, the, since the rules have changed again, um, who I think will win is the actor who plays Ophius on Days George. George the Hoyle. Yeah. Win, yeah. Who will win? It will be probably the upset of the night. Brianna Lane. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. Willie. Will. Uh, who I want to win is uh, Katie McLean, who I think will win, the surprise win. I think it's going to be Brianna Lane. All right. So okay. Win. All right. Uh, let's see. Next. Carolyn. Uh, oh, yeah. Carolyn. Carolyn I, I, it. I, I, it, uh, it's going to be Katie, but I don't know why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the next up is Outstanding Drama Series. Of course, I don't need to name them. Anthony. Anthony. Um, I think General Hospital should win. I have a feeling Bold and the Beautiful might take it this year. Um, okay. I think... <laughs> I think and want both General Hospital only because their storylines move faster and have been more interesting to me, in my opinion. Since they came, since they came okay. back. Yeah. Well, okay. David? So, David. Yeah. I'm going to – I'm saying General Hospital mainly because uh, they made a big – they made a big change – once they came back after the pandemic. I agree, okay. but don't forget, Bold and the Beautiful really had the ripple effect from the baby storyline. The whole, you, yeah. you know, uh, uh, playing mm-hmm. with the dummy and talking to the dead, you know. Um, Addiction it, storyline. Be- Shauna Ridge. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah but not all, not, all, not, all, not all of those things interested me, but it could, you know, interest other people, especially right. the people that, you know, chose those or whatever. But, um, yeah, I mean, it could go either way on that, but my choice is still General Hospital. Um, who's uh, Candace? Candace. Candace. Um, Forever in a Day should win. Um, but. <laughs> yes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, but reality-wise, I mean, we'll get there. I think it's going to – who I want to win is General Hospital, who is going to win is Bone the Beautiful. Okay. Well, who I want to win is Days of Our Lives, and who I think will win, Young and the Restless. Okay, Carolyn. Oh, wow. <laughs> Young and the Restless. Yeah, Will is in his Will yeah. is in his own world. So okay, I, care. I mean, I will agree with you. Wait, hey, Will, I will agree with you because I have a feeling. I'm going to be honest. I do. If if there, I, can I? Okay, I'm going to take this back. I do think there's going to be a tie. I will personally say it's probably going to be a tie between um, Bo and Young and, young and the Rosses. Yeah, Bo and Young and the Rosses. Bo and Young and okay. the Rosses. A tie because of. A try, so you're yeah, because I can see what Young and the Russells probably did. Yeah, I can probably see what Young and the Russells will do for their real if they did do that. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. okay, so we've got two and two, but the, it seems like the favorite, though, is General Hospital with all you guys. Yeah, and Carolyn, Carolyn you... Do you have yeah, a, of course I'm going to go with the with, with the days. Days. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Shocking. You can't you gotta you know, right? Yeah. At least you could have said you could have said for having a day just to make me feel a little bit better over here. But okay, we'll, we'll let it go. We'll let it go. Right. And what's okay. the next category? Okay, outstanding performance by supporting actress. We have Marla Adams on Young and the Restless. We have Carolyn Hennessy, General Hospital. Courtney Hope, The Bold and the Beautiful, Tamara Braun, Days of Our Lives, and Brianna Henry from General Hospital. Anthony? Oh, Lord. Um, I believe that Brianna should take it. Um, I think it'll go to um, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Dina. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Marla Mar- Adams. Marla Mar- Adams. I, I think it'll go to Marla Adams, but I think Brianna should take it. Well, um... I'm a little bit torn on this category because I love Marla Adams. I love Carolyn Hennessy. I love Courtney Hope. 
Um, Tamara Braun, I, I can only, you know, say what I've seen of her acting in that, that I, you know, I love her too. And Brianna, I love her too. So it's kind of hard with this one. Uh, but the little bit, you know, guys, I'm behind on my days, right? But I mm-hmm. think that, that Tamara, from what I've seen of her, has done an outstanding Tamara, job. Tamara has um, done an outstanding, outstanding yeah. job. Yeah, Outstanding. she really it has. On what reels, mm-hmm. I really right. need to see the reels they well, submit. Well, that's we the other thing. We don't know. Again. Yeah, we will. Yeah. We, yeah, we will. We don't, we don't know what well, we don't know what they submitted, right? But yeah, Candace well, knows. Wait, yeah, <laughs> thank you. Um, wait a minute. Y'all talking about your song? I got to pull it up. She did pick, um, um, so she did, so Tamara did pick the stuff, like, when she, when uh, Kayla saw her in Steve's uh, shirt, her, both of her sons, um, you know, some other stuff, you know, like some mon- monologues and everything else like that. So it was pretty much just kind of just, you know, a, a, a little um, meal of her performance and whatnot. So, okay. Yeah. So All who right. Are, who are well, you? Who are you? well, who are you? I, I still didn't pick yet. For? I still didn't pick yeah. yet. So, um, I think I think who will win and who I want to win because she's given so much is Marla Adams. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, David. Um, the one that rings in my mind right now is probably Marla Adams because of that because of her death scene. That, yeah. The whole all that alone. Thing, though. The whole six. Mm-hmm. That, that's why the whole last part. That whole yeah. last part was a tearjerker. Mm-hmm. And I, that that's what is very present in my mind right now. Okay, Candace. Mala Adams should get it. Who will win? Is God please? Well, this might be a tie too. Um. I'm just going to stick with Marla Adams. Okay. She deserves it. So that's yeah. Your yeah. That's your favorite. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. my favorite. Yeah. And Carolyn, okay. you're going for Tamara. <laughs> um, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, I don't have a choice because I don't watch. Right. <laughs> I know. This is why you need to watch other soaps, woman. All right. Okay. Big Willie. Big Willie. Big Willie. I know I will. Okay, and, well, Marla Adams. I love her. Okay, Willie. Okay, well, who 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 do you want? Marla Adams. Oh, M- Marla Adams. Okay. Dina. All right. Dina, I Anthony. Love her. I love her. Okay, and Anthony. He already um, went. I said that Brianna the Brianna should win, but Marla will win. Okay. okay. You know, so I'm, she, it's a tie favorite. for me. I think. Yeah. No, it's a tie for me between the two of them. Okay. Yeah. okay. All Next. right. Who's next? Tom? All right, next is supporting actor. We have Darren Brooks, Bold and the Beautiful, Brighton James, Young and the Restless, James Patrick Stewart, uh, General Hospital, Max Gale, General Hospital, Jeff Kober, General Hospital. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Anthony, go ahead. Hospital, I don't know. I, I'm stuck. You know, I, go ahead, I, I really hope that the General Hospital don't cancel each other out. I'm sorry, but this year it, it is... It, it's my scale. I don't even have, you know, I don't even have a, a you know, a should win versus who will win. It's just okay. Max. Day, Max. Okay. And yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I agree. David? I am torn between Max and James. I knew it. I knew it because that was my other one. I knew it. Yeah, that was my other one. Um, all right. So who are you going to pick? I'm going with Max, I guess. Okay. Will? Oh, no, Candace. Sorry, Candace is next. Who should win is Jeff Cobb as Cyrus. Who will win is Daria Brooks. Really? GH is going to cancel each other out. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Well, it's always a possibility. 
<laughs> okay, who I want to win is Brighton. Who I think will win is going to be Darren. Okay. All right. All right, and yeah, Carolyn has no um, no, 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 horse, no horse in that race. <laughs> no, which is unfair. Carolyn, I'll, which is unfair. I'll, I'll buy you yeah, a horse. I mean, you've, got, so you've got three. You, you don't have. There's not a favorite with the supporting actor. There's no. Everybody's picking different ones. I, and I'm gonna be honest. That was. I, I'm gonna say that category was one of the biggest snubs for a lot of actors oh. this year. Absolutely. I really, Absolutely. So there was a lot. Yeah. Of, well, a let's lot talk of, about that. Show. Let's talk about that after we go through the rest of the yeah. year. Yeah. Okay, okay, so, so out, what? outstanding younger performer. We have younger. Taj Bello as General Hospital, uh, Olivia Aline Lind on The Young and the Restless, Sydney Michaela on General Hospital, Victoria Conifal on Days of Our Lives, and Caitlin McMullen on General Hospital. Anthony? Um. You know, I'm really torn in this yep. category. Yeah, I yeah. really, really am. Um, Me too. I have a feeling it's going to go to Victoria. Uh, and I really can't say who I think should win because I think four out of four out of them, you know, are are all equal. But I think it's going to go to Victoria. Okay, I am also torn big time on this one because they've all have contributed so much, but. I'm thinking it's going to be between Olivia and Sydney. Okay. David? Well, you know I have a soft spot for Katie, and I wanted her to win last year. But I I would like her to win this year, but I don't think she's going to get it. I think um, I think this one might go to um, either Sydney or Victoria. Okay. Candace? See, this is a this is the tough category tonight. Mm-hmm. To be honest, mm-hmm. this is the tough well, category. As it was it last is. year too. But go ahead. Um, who I want to win is Cindy, who plays Trina, mm-hmm. who will yeah. win, damn it, who will win is probably going to be, <laughs> all right, I'm picking two, screw it, it'll be a tie for this night, um, I will I will say Victoria and uh, the young fellow who plays TJ, Taj, Taj yeah, Bella. Taj. Okay. Well, Victoria is uh, very, Taj, very popular. Taj, Victoria is very popular. Taj is the one that I don't think has a shot in hell. Um, I really do. I think the all the the other four, you know, I don't think Taj has a shot in hell. But I'm, you know, I respect your your opinion. Because okay. the only reason is because because I'm gonna and I'm just gonna say this: if you like, again, this is why we so fans probably can take who can tell what reels was the minute. And I think yeah. with General Hospital, I'm noticing a pattern with what they, who they're picking as their representation for the show. And you got to – don't sleep on the fact, because I remember people saying this about Ron Flynn a couple of years ago. He did not, quote, not unquote, bring a lot to the table, and he won that thing. And you got to remember all the stuff that TJ went through last year. That is right. True. Yeah, he like, went through a lot. You know, so he might be the All right, they, the, the the winner, yeah. The slip we the know sleeper Tom that is yeah. With Victoria, Big Willie, mm-hmm. what's your choice? What are your two choices? Who, who I want to win is Olivia. Who I think will win, I think it's going to be Victoria. All right. All right. Ma'am, what and, is the next category? Carolyn. Uh, next. Carolyn's yeah, going to go with Victoria. Oh, Come Victoria. on now. Victoria. Well, she has to say it. Victoria, okay. All right, Victoria. trying to get to the category. Give me one second here, which is, uh, I believe the last one is lead actress. I'm waiting for the computer to load the picture so I can read. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. We've got Nancy Spinola, um, Stephanie right. Jacqueline McGinnis. Um, who am I missing? Nancy Spinola. Uh, Spinola, who's Jacqueline McKenney's Woods, Nancy Lee Gron, Jeannie Francis, Melissa Claire Egan. All, All right, right, Anthony, go so, ahead. You know, this is the other one. This is the other one that is really, really, really hard. You know, I honestly mm. believe every single one of these ladies has a shot. Mm-hmm. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, the whole Luke and Laura legacy, blah, 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 you know, gives Jeannie the little bit of an edge. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Melissa Claire Egan pulls it out because of, you know, the competition canceling each other out. Um, Honestly, though, I'm going with Jacqueline McGinnis Woods. You know, I need to see the reels, though. I really need to see what they submit. But based upon the quality of work all year long, I'm going to go with Jocko McInnes Woods. Okay. Um, wow, this is this is another hard one for me too. Um, I have a feeling. Although, real quick, I just got to say this. Uh, I don't know if it's part, if it's in, within the um, within the time category. Candace, you can answer this for me. But Nancy Legrand's standalone episode. Oh my God! Right, mm-hmm. right, and right, mm-hmm. right, and and oh my gosh, I love them all. Um, I, I guess who I want to win, I guess, would be Nancy Legrand. She's been nominated, what, like seven times now? Is she turning it into a Susan Lucci? <laughs> she's turning into a Susan Lucci, she's, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Candace? Who I want to win is my girl, Missy, because I think she has a shot, because she's the only one in this category that doesn't have an Emmy. Who will win, Fiona Hughes, because she played twins in the Academy yep. Loves when people play dual roles. Okay, David. You think that's what she's submitting? The 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 scenes between oh. her and you know Anna and Alex? oh yeah she yeah she yeah she 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 even said it. She said there's scenes between her that um Anna and Alex, some stuff with Peter, stuff with Finn. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. See, that's why I said I gotta I gotta see the real I gotta before see, I, before so. I really could well, take an educated guess. Right. So right. So going with the right. twins. So thing, this is she was. This, yeah, so um, this is hard for me. Um, I'd like to see Missy. I'd like to see them all get it. Can I say a five-way tie? I can't make up my mind because every one of them have given it. Yeah, this year, this category this year is going to be the hardest for the judges. It's it just going to be so hard. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. And, and, I'm, oh shoot! I can't. Wait a minute. When you guys go, I want to. I want to change something. I want to change my my answer. Oh, go ahead, honey. Cause I, okay, I'm still gonna. I'm gonna say this is a tie too. I'm just gonna say it's between Fanola and Jeannie because I forgot the episode when when Laura cried about Lulu. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh God, yes. Oh my God. I yeah. About that that's too. the Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, okay, it was we got like, two, yeah. you know, we got two Fiona, we got two uh, Jeannie, and we've got two Melissa. Uh, so let's. She didn't on, even call mine because I said everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know, right? David, you got to pick. Oh, no, I can't. Well, none of us can either. So, but well, we did. Well, I'm gonna Go I'm the, gonna give it to I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Jeannie because that Thanksgiving episode. With Tracy coming home and saying, okay, "But first so we hug." Jeannie Francis so I'm going is in with the Jeannie. Lead. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Next. All right. Well. Yeah. This it's, is, it's such a hard, hard category. I want Finola Hughes to win, but I think the surprising winner of the evening is going to be Jeannie Francis. Okay. 
She's the she's the front runner. All right. What's well, the next, that's, what's the next cat? What's the next category? Well, there aren't any more. No, the show. the writing. There's no more categories, the, but I think we should no we should throw up some honorable mentions of people that we think should have been um, nominated or should have made it to the final nominations. Uh, Candace, no, why don't you go you first? Want, you wanted to discuss something. You said wait until we were all finished. What did you want to discuss and get into? Yeah. More. Uh, more detail. Oh, the snubbing, Where probably. The oh, snubbing. snubbing, yeah, the snubbing, yeah. Um, so, honorable people that should have been on, whether it's lead or supporting, was Robert Scott Willis. Um, I yeah. think, well, oh, well, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah well, so yeah, if if you're not a fan, you know, like a fan base, he, had, he did deliver some good work. Um, I know he did submit uh, the vows, uh, the torture of Ben and some other things. So I, I just think he should have been on that list. Mark Grossman is another person that should have been on there. Brittany Sharpe yeah. should have been on there um, as Elaine. Um, John Lindstrom should have been on that oh, list. Oh, yes, yes. Sharon um, Case should have been on there. Sharon Case, yeah. Rebecca Herbst. Let me say yep. it loud enough. Rebecca Herb should have been on that list again. I'm sorry. Um, yes. Yeah, Sharon Kate. Both Rebecca Herb and Roger Howard. Shit. And right. Roger Howard. Right. Um, right. I'm even going to say this. Emmy Ryland should have been on there, too. Um, yes. Yep. As supporting. I, Absolutely. As supporting. Um, I just think, like I said, and I, I've been saying this, is that, you know, there was more supporting actors and actresses, and by the way, Lindsay Godfrey, too, and Sal mm-hmm. Sowers as well. Um, there was a lot of supporting last year than lead. Um, not knocking anybody. It's just, to me, I was really surprised when I kept seeing the, the same amount of nominees. Five, five, five. Usually it's five, six, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. But, I, you know, again, congratulations to the nominees. It's just this year I... I mean, I know last year was a real hard year. Matthew Atkinson should have been on that list too. Um, oh my God, that's my, yep. Um, but you know, it, it's just is is weird. It's just I'm just like I was scratching my head, and then again, we don't know all know who submitted or not. We know yeah. Eric Marsoff did not submit. By the way, Stacey Duke should have been nominated, even if she did, you know. But in Drake Hogan, there's so, like I said, there's so many people. That should have been some like you know I'm thinking about Michael like there's so many people, so that's my and I'm not even going to talk about one of the biggest snubs is writing. Yep, there you, oh. that's the one. See what they need to do is is really consider changing up the categories. You know, have lead, have you know have lead, have supporting, and then have you know emotional impact. Um, you know, have a couple of more categories where people can submit based upon what their storylines were driven, et cetera, et cetera. Because, you know, it's just, we're stuck with the same players. We're stuck with the same players. Mm-hmm. And, and that, you know, it doesn't really, once you move out of that younger category, you're kind of screwed until you hit you know, 35-ish. Then you get back into the supporting and the lead categories. Well, I know and, that next year, not to cut you off, Amy, I do know next year, like, for the younger performer, the age limit will go back to 18. Good. So those it who, should. So, so for those who are above 18 can actually submit an either or, supporting or lead, if they feel, if they feel confident enough to do so. And we've, We've heard some actors have done that, you know. Um, But like I said, I I have some questions, and maybe somebody can help me. We only have four network soaps, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. Only four, right? (laughs) So, and usually, like, for, now I know for makeup and hair and all that, that was a different situation because Dave and Young and Ross was both got a, a separate nomination for that kind of stuff. But for, like, lighting and set designs and casting and all that, it's usually the four soaps, right? I'm just making sure I'm not going crazy when I'm about to say. 
So how the hell, and I said it like that, and I'm sorry if I said, did we, what, I, the writing team nomination is what probably shocked everybody. Because we're so used to the four soaps. All four of them getting Because it's only four soaps. So how did you leave? And this is not even me saying this as like a, a, like I'm a fan of the whole genre, as we all know. But how did you leave out Days of Our Lives when you're you're supposed to represent all four soaps? Because this this reminded me, and I don't know if y'all guys remember, it was about maybe about six years ago, seven years ago, or actually maybe closer than on 10. When there was five shows, and they only did three shows for best drama yep. instead of doing the five. Yeah. To me, and I, I've seen people say, well, you know, Days of Our Lives got snubbed the worst. I'm going to be honest with you. They did. They really did. I, did. I was like, wait a minute. Something is not right here. And, again, we need to I – think, I think this is one of those times where King Corday, Brad Bell – Josh, Tony, and Frank needs to come out and do an interview and say, well, you know, we did not submit this. We did this. We did this. We, the fans, need because they're not releasing the reels. And why? <laughs> and why? And why? And why? Uh, explain. <laughs> explain. All I can say is every, Because yeah. every year, exactly, every year it turns into a politics, C-H-I-U-U, you, you know what show. And so this year uh-huh. they decided, you know what, we don't want to have to answer to anybody. If we yeah. don't release the reels, then we don't have to defend anything. Yeah. Uh-huh. And But, okay, let me just say one thing, though. That they are getting a second year back on network television. Yeah. I absolutely understand the decision made. I don't quite agree with it. But I understand the decision made. We don't want to mess with it, you know, with the possibility of having network representation going forward for the next couple of years. And also, we all know that it's going to, that the big battle, the big battle over at at CBS is going to hit the fan again in 2020, the beginning of 2023, whether or not the two shows are going to be renewed. Well, we want to keep. We want to keep them all. We want to keep them all going. So we just hope for the best. Hope for the best. <laughs> exactly. Plus, it's for prom- the day yeah, probably will be. Prom- it's promising. It's promising. And didn't you say that uh, the streaming? Uh, um, who's who's doing well on on the streaming apps? Yes, Days, Days is Lives. doing good. Yes. And Days, on the Days, Days Lives is doing phenomenal. That's the reason. Yeah. It's cra- it's cra- that's the, and that- you know what I think? It's the, it's the young people. They just love. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's stupid. It's 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 just unbelievable. But I don't know. There's a segment out there well, that likes well, it. Well, the thing <laughs> is, is that with the streaming and you know, and to the Emmys because I know they're going to be changing this rule too a little bit. They are going to open it up more to streaming next year for the next year's Emmys. So, you know, who knows if ever they might be nominated. Anyway, um, not, to, not to drop names of shows that I'm a part of, but for having a day. Um, but the thing <laughs> is, is that, like, Days of Our Lives, like, that was a huge reason why they got renewed was because of the streaming. Well, sure. Well, Which sure. Was, and people pay you know, for the streaming. So somebody well, must like right. it. I mean, if they're, they're paying oh, for yeah, it. Oh, it's, yeah. It's, it's one of the top shows. It's actually number one. It's the number one yeah. most streamed show. Like, and it's not just the young folks. Oh no! It's everybody. Are you on, <laughs> Candace, on yeah. both apps and both NBC apps, or just Peacock? On on Peacock, on Peacock. On Peacock? Huh? No, on both. Yes, yeah. on both. Well, well, on, well. On, Day, okay, Day of so, Lives is consistently in the top in the top ten of all yeah, NBC for, stream shows. For the, right, but on <laughs> Peacock is number one. It's like the number one, and that's what um Michael. I want to say that was his name, Michael, who is the new executive producer, the new executive producer, the new exec over at NBC was talking about is that because of the introduction of Peacock, that also, like, brought attention to their eyes when they were going over the renewal. Um, and, you know, heads up, by the way, I just want to say this. This is, not a, this, is not a, this is not a snub discussion, but I do want to applaud uh, CBS, for getting the two-year deal for the daytime Emmys, because again, last year, 3.2 million of us, yes. because it was a pandemic. But at the same time, 
some of us have been complaining about y'all not having the daytime Emmys on television for about seven years now. Just saying. Right. Um, yeah. Right. We, we, and yep. look at we some, of the, got... some of the disastrous ones that they've had. You know, what was that one? Which year it's was it Vegas. when they had, yeah, where they had those people that were uh, interviewing the stars and or whatever and didn't like, even know what, like, they didn't even like, know anything like about that. the soap. Pam, Pam, oh, you mean this? Works. You mean this? You mean these girls? Oh my God! What makes you a legend? Oh, oh my God! This is like playing a thug oh. on television. Oh my, oh my God. God! What are you, you wearing? Have, you, uh, oh my wait, God! Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, oh yeah, that was like Ryan Davies. No, the best movie like, from that how, night was. Oh my God! That's the one that was possessed by the devil. Devil. Wasn't she on that? Like, wasn't she on Little House on the yes. Prairie? Yes. No, no, Anthony, no, this was the best one. I almost fell off the couch. (laughs) No, this was the best one. Let me get let me get it right. And we're not I mean, look, it was it was pop culture this night, okay? Wait a minute, let me get it right. Oh my god. (laughs) So what is it like being a um just a tall glass of water and being shirtless all the time on the show? Do you feel as though people don't recognize your acting talent? Because you're uh, 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 was that was that uh, after the Emmy party with those girls or the on the? Uh, nope, that was the red carpet. That was the red carpet. Yes, that's I when remember. Nancy, that's that when was yeah, that's, no, that was the red carpet. And that girl that yeah. asked Deidre, that asked Deidre Hall, oh my God, you were the one that was possessed by the devil, and, and then talked about <laughs> Little House on the Prairie. I almost fell off the couch. No, when they asked Melanie, when they asked, when they when they when they talked about Melanie Thomas Scott, and the girl was like, "So, we have Melanie Thomas Scott. She's from the CBS show The Young and the Restless. Melanie, you look fabulous. I love your outfit. What and your are you hair. wearing? <laughs> no, no, that's not what she asked. She said this. She was like." So they tell me that you're a legend on the show. What makes oh, you a yeah. legend? Yeah. What oh, makes you a God, legend yes. on the show? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got to oh, I got to tell you guys yeah. one thing. One thing I remember at Ryan Pavey's um first oh, appearance in oh, Syracuse. Uh, I I asked him about that experience, and he was, you know, he was cool about it because it was his first time, and he just he just took it as it is. And and I told him that, you know, your fans around you were appalled. I said mortified, mortified, yes. mortified, mortified, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You know, you know, it was bad when Nancy Lee Gron. I mean, we. I know Nancy Lee Gron gets a lot of flag for being on Twitter, but this was the one time I was so proud of her for being on on Twitter. She was like, for those who are attending, getting ready to go on the red carpet, avoid this. Avoid the red carpet. <laughs> go around the building because they are asking these kind of questions. And I mean, to me, I like I said, I had an issue because I remember that these young women was uh, bloggers. This is when blogs mm-hmm. were yes. really big. And I yeah. Heard, and they and got well, hired. Uh, they got, uh, yeah, they, uh, they got hired. They got hired because of their, you know, this is like before. I would say this was around the dawn of Instagram, where their followers they had like so many. Let me just right. say this. Sometimes, sometimes yeah. it's not about the followers. It's about the knowledge and the mm-hmm. respect. Mm-hmm. Because you know, I felt bad for Lawrence St. Victor that night. I felt bad for Ryan that night. I felt for Melody that night. I felt bad for a lot of people. I felt bad for all of them. All of them to oh, have I, just, up I with felt that. bad for me. I oh, felt bad exactly. for you. Exactly. It's, I never tweeted so much in my life that day. I tell you, oh my I gosh, like, it was Lord, unbelievable. I, was I thought, you know, is, was, is this the practice show, and then we're going to have the real show, or what? Oh. <laughs> I, 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 well, I are, don't. Things are, I, looking up for our, things are looking up for our last four soaps, so we're just we're just gonna we're hanging yeah. in there, and whatever whatever happens. Well, it's, Exposure. It's exposure. <laughs> well, well for next year, the, the best drama is now going to be incorporated with digital. And if you have produced yeah. 30 or more digital episodes, you will be in the running for best drama next year. Actually, it's, 20, it's, 20, it's, 20, it's 22 and up. 
It's 22 oh, and up. 22 and up. Because yeah, they were 20, battling 22 back and, and up. I thought they went with 30. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. you know, next year it's going to be a whole new ball game. but they also need to expand the, the actual acting categories. But mm-hmm. I'll take this for now. Oh, hopefully, because hopefully, one, hopefully they will. Hopefully they will. We've only got two minutes left by my uh, clock here. so uh, yeah, Well, yeah. we got five according to mine. So. Oh, okay. 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 Well, we're just going to... Just say, well, hopefully you guys follow us on social media and let us know what you think. Who do you think is going to take it or who do you want to take it? Because the day and since, Emmy I have is, one, it, and I since have we have time for you guys, since we have five minutes, ahead, I have Sam. one question. They well, touted I, I, the, the John Riley, Sean Donnelly episode, I you know, for weeks and weeks say, and months. I was just going to say, since we have five minutes, let's talk about John Donnelly, uh, Riley. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. They touted this episode for quite some time. I want to know, do you guys think it lives up to the hype? I'm really so glad that, you know, obviously um, Robin came back. I'm so glad that they dropped the little nuggets that they did all week long. But I honestly felt less, based upon looking at the Young and the Reckless and the, and the episodes that they have done, I, I really felt Well, less. let me just say this. I loved it because they did it. Um, I loved it what, because they did what, it, absolutely. What, what made it for me was hearing Tiffany, the real Tiffany. Yeah. And and what kind of let me down, but then again gave homage, was when everybody started getting kidnapped, <laughs> like something was really going on. And here it was initiation for his daughter and his daughter in real life. Yeah. That did it for me. Yeah. That did it for me. Yeah. Could it have been more? Of Can't, course. But what we got, I thought was great. What we got, I thought was great. But when you compare it to what the Young and the... the one thing you cannot take away from the Young and the Restless is when they pay tribute, whether it be because of an unfortunate passing or because of an anniversary, et cetera, et cetera. And I feel the same thing. I love Nancy Leguan's episode. I did. Yeah. After, yeah. I loved it way yeah. more than Maurice Bernard's episode. Um, but when you compare it to The Young and the Restless, like, come on. You, you know, you can up the game. It's one episode or, or, you know, three episodes, really, because you have the lead-in and the follow-up afterwards. I, well, I really I, did feel I think like they, the only, I think the only thing that was missing is more of people from the past. Like, I would love to have seen Anthony Geary. Yeah. We, you know, we were never we had, get we had, Geary. I, we I had, get, yeah. Well, I know, but I, we had Felicia, we had Mac, we had, fin, uh, you know, Finola. Um, we had, um, I'm trying to think of all the people that were together in the days. We had Tiffany. Well, uh, well the thing that pissed me off is we didn't get Monica. And that was the one mm-hmm. thing I asked for. Monica. Yeah. He was, yeah. He was he there. A romance. Monica was there. She yeah. was there. Yeah. Yeah, but, but it was so lackluster. Oh, you wanted more of Monica. I mean, you wanted more because of the the relationship between Sean. Yeah, I get I get what you say. I I to be honest, this is where if you're if you're a fan of General Hospital, and I, I just like Younger the Rosslers, just like Dave, there are sections of soap fans who who started watching the show. So to me, I feel as though this was, and I actually said it. If you watch General Hospital in the '80s on up, like from you know the golden years of General Hospital. This was a treat for you. If you're a fan of General Hospital who is constantly saying, I don't know all these newbies that's coming on to my show, I need my 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 General Hospital. This was an episode. Mm-hmm. Yes, you had the Scorpio family yeah. in yeah. lock. You had yeah. Felicia, you know, you had right. you had the good the good old times. And like you said, the fact that John's Okay, daughter, ninety seconds. Okay, go okay, ahead. The fact that you had the real life and real life mixed into it was perfect. The fact that Sharon was there, that was perfect. Yeah. The fact that they yeah. flashed back to the wedding some good times, that was perfect. Yeah. General Hospital, you may get a lot of heat, but that was one of the good episodes for a fan who's been watching since the eight. Right, right. Yeah. And, and let me just, just Annie, let me let me just say real quick. Speaking of um, dedicated episodes, don't forget to watch Young and the Restless tomorrow. Yes. With yes. Another yes. another yeah. episode attributed mm-hmm. to uh, our lovely and most loved and most missed 
Christoph St. John, Christoph. Neil Winters. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Keep watching, got- everybody. Keep watching. Let us know your thoughts. Please hit us up on Twitter and the- Facebook. Keep the soaps alive. That's exactly. right. Exactly. Keep All them right. Alive. How you think? Okay. Thank you, you everybody. Guys, we'll be back next Stay time safe. with more Stay of up, our man. opinions. After we see some <laughs> slideshows, <laughs> submitted oh, reels. Oh, oh, my God. I just love that. Forever in a day, forever in a day, forever in a day. Yeah, so make sure you guys follow us on social media, okay? Like, yeah. totally. like that's what makes us a legend, okay? All Take right. Care, yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Happy long weekend.